All right, guys, we're here at the uh, range today, and uh, my friend brought her pistol, a SIG P290. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be shooting the Glock 19 and the 290 today, and uh, we'll just kind of see uh, a little bit of a comparison. All right, guys, so we're at the range. I'm testing out these new pig gloves from uh, SKD Tactical. Um, so far, I like them. They, a lot of people complain that they're tight-fitting. And they are form-fitting, very tight. Um, these are a large that I'm wearing, and they're very snug, although they are loosening up over time. But that gives you um, a dexterity that you don't normally get. Uh, there's also a material here, which I will go over in a forthcoming review, that um, you can really feel what your fingers are doing through the glove. You can see the break points there in the knuckles and at the joints for um, extra dexterity as well. Um, so I'm just going to be putting these through their paces today, and um, there will be a review forthcoming on these. All right, so we're shooting the Glock and the SIG. This SIG is for concealment purposes. You can see the size comparison to the Glock 19, and um, I just got to shoot my friend's SIG. I have to say the trigger pull is very long. It's a long trigger pull, which I'm not used to. Uh, the Glock actually has a much shorter trigger pull. And it's got a New York trigger, so it's got that, that um, break point in between, that halfway point where you can pull the trigger and kind of feel that detent and then continue and um, then it fires. So uh, definitely a much different pistol um, than the Glock, both 9mm uh, rounds. And uh, we're going to continue doing some more shooting with these. All right, guys, so you can see how the SIG uh, rides compared to the Glock in the hand. Uh, I don't know if you could see that down there, but, you know, the pistol grip, the grip on the uh, SIG is much shorter. Uh, it does extend out a little when the clip is in. The clip provides the base for the uh, grip. But it's, it's a much shorter grip, so it's going to be a lot different when you fire it um, compared to the Glock 19. Um, it is a nice little pistol, though. Like I said, a long trigger throw on... Uh, on the SIG, that takes some getting used to, and also really, really stabilizing the hand. You want to use your, uh, you know, the two-hand grip with this, and the push-pull method because it has as much kick as any other nine-millimeter, but it's a smaller pistol, so it tends to get out of your hand uh, a lot quicker. If you take a look at the Glock. You can see, I mean, it fits totally differently in the hand, but you may carry this or you may not. It's certainly not as concealable as the SIG. Um, so it's all about trade-offs, as with anything else in uh, firearms or outdoor activities. So this is my friend Holly. Say hi. Hi. Shooting buddy for today. So what do you think, um, what do you like better between the Glock and the SIG? Do you see a difference or? Really? Yes. Again, see again, that's it's that just size. Because it's got distribution because it's bigger. Exactly. That's that size and weight um, distribution. And of course, the New York trigger is a lot different. It's a lot shorter pull, as we were saying. Um, what about for your hands, though? Obviously, for your hands, the SIG is feeling better. Yeah. For my tiny hands. Small hands, guys. So, yeah, I mean, that's again, what we're talking about is um, the differences between these two firearms. You know, there's a trade-off, like anything else. Knives, when we talk about knives, when we talk about camping gear, there's a huge trade-off. So, you know, more concealable. Um, this one's actually going to reduce the recoil a little bit more. So it's just a matter of um, what your goal is, you know, how you plan to use uh, the firearm. Uh, also, comparing these two pistols, uh, they both have polymer grips, but... Um, the grip on the SIG is much more abrasive, and that again may have been done due to its small size. Um, 
The Glock also has that, but it's not as abrasive as, um, as we have here on the SIG. Also, I like the uh, slide release button on the SIG. I'm just a fan of bigger slide releases. The Glock, I mean, you do get used to the slide re release, but you really got to get your thumb up there uh, on the side. Um, I don't have a problem with it, but I've seen people uh, really struggle with this pistol, especially the first few times they're using it. It takes some getting used to. So, uh, again, just two more differences between these uh, 9 millimeter pistols. All right, guys, another thing to note between these two pistols is uh, the magazines. You can see the Glock is a polymer magazine. Um, the SIG uses some sort of steel, and then again, there's the polymer on the bottom. That polymer is uh, going to extend your grip when the magazine is in the pistol. Now, the SIG is newer. The Glock's a little older, but the, the magazines for the Glock do seem to uh, take rounds a lot easier. It's much easier to load, actually than um, the SIG. Another thing to note about the SIG is it's metal, so without gloves on when you're loading this, it does tend to chew up your fingers uh, over time. If you're loading by hand and not using um, gloves or a speed loader, like a, a Lula, something like that. So again, just another uh, small difference between the two pistols, um, the magazine type. Alright guys, so I've been able to put these gloves to their paces now a little bit today. This is the first time that I've had them at the range or used them in live fire. And um, I have to say I'm very impressed. I was skeptical that they could be any different really from any other gloves. Um, but based on my experience so far, it's turning out pretty good. I, they are definitely have uh, a lot of dexterity, probably more than the mechanics gloves I used. and. Um, they're just very comfortable, very comfortable to hold a pistol with, so definitely a forthcoming uh, review on these.